Speed 97 block shed impregnate me. Put a kid in me. I'll name it Nick Jr. I'll name it Nick Kerr. 95 power moves, 95 finesse moves. Holy shit! Today is the Wheel of Mud Super Bowl, and there could not be a better kickoff than the best, most expensive player in the entire game. Playoffs limited Nick Bosa. They say patience is a virtue. They say good things take time. Well, I invested five months, blood, sweat, tears, and a little bit of semen into 86 Nick Bosa. And this is our payout. Plus nine overall, plus 12 speed, nine excel, 11 strength, nine play rec, 22 block shed. That's six more than the age of my girlfriend. 95 power moves is plus 11, plus eight to finesse moves. He is unbelievable. 95 Nick Bosa. I've never had on this team an edge threat as good as him. Why don't we start by looking at his abilities? Anybody who's new to Wheel of Mutt, in episode one, every year of Wheel of Mutt, I select three prestige players. At the start of Madden 24, I selected Jamar Chase, who paid off big in Halloween. Derwin James, who paid off big in the Unstoppables promo, and Nick Bosa, who for literally five months did not produce a single card. Prestige players, I am always entitled to the best version possible, so the minute this Nick Bosa dropped, I got to add him to my team. He doesn't have any special X-Factors, that's totally fine. He should have a discounted ability, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Edge Threat Elite, I know this is not as strong as it used to be. Double or nothing, I'm really not sure on, but no Outsiders is is really, really popular right now. This kind of dominates the stretch run, the outside zones. Quicker run sheds against outside zone plays. So if you pair no outsiders with an inside stuff D tackle, you can really stop the run with like three down linemen. It's kind of sad, actually. So we're definitely gonna run no outsiders. I'm, I'm currently running this on Will Anderson. There's another thing we need to talk about. Actually, there's two more things we need to talk about. One, I'm so sorry for being poor. Sorry for being a broke, dumb idiot. I simply decided one day to stop being poor. I had purchased 93 Lamar because I couldn't afford 94 Lamar at the time. I really don't know what got into me. Why didn't I just shell out the money right then and there and get the 94 Lamar? I apologize. Stop being poor, Matthew. Quit it. Quit being poor. So I made the conscious decision and I bred it up and now I have 94 Lamar Jackson. I was already entitled to 94 Lamar. I was just, I don't know. So instead of 93 Lamar, our quarterback is now 94 Lamar. The unique thing about the 94 Lamar is he gets the ability truss. You can't fumble as a result of a tackle. This could be activated at all times if I use it as an ability, but it's four AP. I won't be using that, but he does have better stats regardless. He also gets better discounted abilities and and he gets better X factors. So he's just better. I'm gonna give him Truz Collector's Edition. Starts on, you get eight plays of it. Can't fumble as the result of a tackle. I'll be giving him Gunslinger for one AP. I'll also be giving him Gift Wrap. So that's only two AP on our quarterback. And the third and final thing I wanted to talk about today is as we head into the Super Bowl, there was a title update. So the game had a huge patch, which will impact gameplay. What has changed is ability points. Previously, it was seven on offense, nine on defense. Now it is eight on offense and 11 on defense. So we do have some adjustments to make. Nick Bosa comes at a weird time because I just got Micah Parsons to replace my 86 Nick Bosa. Obviously, I prefer 95, but now we have to find a home for Micah Parsons, which we didn't have to do previously. So 95 Nick Bosa is my new right end. Left end still Will Anderson. D tackle still Jalen Carter. Right outside linebacker, Micah Parsons. He's not a coverage guy. He doesn't have a lurk artist, but his stats are still absolutely amazing. I think it makes sense to put him here anyway, even though, yeah, he 
he's he's um not really built for coverage. He's still really good. Now, with the addition of Nick Bosa and Lamar, we're up to a 92 overall. Let's look at our offensive abilities. Lamar is 2 AP. Derrick Henry with angry runs, tank, and persistent is another 2. Vanguard mid and elite Gronk is 1. Russ Grimm with linchpin is 1. And that leaves 2 AP unused. Something I don't normally run, but I'm interested in running is dashing dead eye. Kind of hard to get out of the pocket. From within the pocket, Lamar's going to throw a lot of very good throws anyway. Dashing dead eye will give me perfect pass accuracy on the run up to 40 yards. I'm going to give it a go. What I don't have is hot route master. Now, obviously, Derrick Henry is not going to get backfield master. He's not built for that. He's more built for running straight through people, so that's out of the question. But what about tight end apprentice on Gronk? That seems like it'd be a really good idea. I'm going to give him tight end apprentice, which means he doesn't get mid in elite anymore. But at least this way, I can put corner routes on Gronk if we really need them. He's the only player who's going to get unique abilities. Now, defensively, no outsiders, Nick Bosa. Acrobat pick artist, Kyle Hamilton. Acrobat is unnecessary. If I find other good abilities, I'll turn that off. Inside stuff, Jalen Carter. Pick artist, Tariq Woolen. Avalanche lurk artist, Ray Lewis. Peanut Tillman with pick artist, universal coverage. Carmichael lurk artist for free. Will Anderson, no outsiders. Derwin James, deep in zone KO. We do need that, but low-key, I want to replace him in today's episode. That leaves one AP available. What's crazy is I'm not even done. One more amazing thing happened. Season four dropped, and guess who's the best player in season four? Ray Lewis. Now, keep in mind, this is going to take some time, but there's an 86 Ray Lewis. As you grind the season four field pass, you get upgrades. After three upgrades, he's a 94. He matches my limited cover athlete. And on top of that, this Ray Lewis has an ability that has never before been in Madden. Enforcer Supreme grants unbreakable, demoralizing hit sticks. Quite frankly, I don't know what that means, but it sounds fucking awesome. And I'm definitely going to use that. He also gets Lurk Artist for free. And 94 is not where he stops. He goes up to a 95 and then up to a 96. So the Ray Lewis prestige was immaculate. The Gronk prestige was immaculate. And now the Bosa prestige was immaculate. I'm really just waiting on a Derwin James card and maybe another Jamar Chase. And this is going to be a spectacular year of prestiges once again. Taking a look at our new top five, Ridley, Bosa, Lamar, Lewis, Henry. We haven't even spun the wheel, baby. Today is the Super Bowl. We get two wheel spins. The Super Bowl challenge wheel. And that's it for this season of Wheel of Mutt. The next episode will be the start of a brand new season. And I need to decide a new prestige player. So one of the players on this lineup who's not already prestiged will carry over to next season and we get their best version. Lamar Jackson is obviously an excellent option. He's insanely good and he's going to win MVP. I'm just a little squeamish about prestiging a quarterback. You guys know that. This obviously would be really stupid, but Vita Vea is kind of a hilarious prestige because I would be entitled to either tight end Vita Vea or down the line. I could get D tackled Vita Vea if he got another card. So that'd be kind of funny. Calvin Ridley's a nice prestige. He's already a 95 overall limited wide receiver. But realistically, there's one guy I'm looking at for the prestige and that's Jalen Carter D tackle. Now, Jalen Carter and Will Anderson are supposedly neck and neck in defensive rookie of the year voting. So if Will Anderson got it, I would be bummed out. But hear me out on Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter is a 93 overall, boosted to a 94. He has inside stuff discounted, which is the exact ability I'm going to need at this position. He probably wins defensive rookie of the year and gets a 97 overall. My need for Will Anderson is so much lower now that Nick Bosa has an amazing card. I've already got a dominant right end. Why not secure a dominant D tackle who probably gets a 97? I'm leaning towards Jalen Carter. I don't realistically see another better option. I like Derrick Henry because he's halfback or quarterback. I don't know. I think Jalen Carter is the move. All right, boys. It's no time to be anxious. It's the time to play ball. Our first wheel spin. I told you it's juiced for the Super Bowl, baby. I can get one of any player. But it must come from this team. Is it the Colts or is it the Bears? It's the Colts. I don't know if that's really the team to get. There are no 94 to 95 overall Colts in the entire game. It looks like we're picking up a 92 or a 93. Edger and James is a no. Pretty Pay is a no. John Mackey is a no. Anthony Richardson is a no. 93 overall Ryan Kelly. I've been talking a lot about my offensive line. Super important to me. Get a monster up there headed into the Super Bowl. Like if Derrick Henry wants to plow behind this guy's ass cheeks, that can mean whatever you want it to mean. But to me, that's running the ball on the gold line. Wow, they really did the Colts dirty. They don't got shit. Russ Grimm 
Ethereum already has linchpin for one. What would happen if I use two linchpin? Would it stack? I have to imagine this wouldn't stack, but he also gets post up for one. This card's amazing. Yeah, I'm running post up on Ryan Kelly. I even could run identifier, but I don't think I need identifier this year. And we left one AP open on offense. So I don't even gotta mess with my AP. All right, boys, our first wheel spin a monster. 93 overall. Thank you, Colts. I appreciate y'all. Dude, we just doubled up zero chill. Zero chill jackpot. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, boy. Do they have a tackle? Boys, this is the San Francisco 49ers season. We made it all the way to the Super Bowl. And there just so happens to be... Oh, my God. You couldn't write a better script. Straight up. There happens to be a 94 limited. Zero chill left tackle Trent Williams. Absolute monster pickup right here. I assume he gets really good abilities, too. We could go lifeguard or nasty streak. I don't have the ability power for that. So we're just going to run him stock. But guys, this is Trent Williams we're talking about. The, one of the best tackles to ever play the game. Insane stats across the board. 6'5", 320, 94 strength. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm not going to complain, but the only thing is I would prefer a right tackle. Just because Lamar's right-handed, so I feel like I'll roll to the right more, use dashing that I to the right. So it looks like Panay Sewell's taking us to the bowl. Jordan Mailata is going to come out for 94 Trent Williams. That left side of the line is monstrous compared to the right side. Trent Williams, Russ Grim Ryan Kelly. If I'm running the ball, I'm running stretch, inside zone, and dives to the left side of this line. Um, I'm sorry, Lamar. Unlucky, but not the end of the world. I will also say, you know who just became an amazing prestige option? Trent Williams. Trent Williams is virtually guaranteed a team of the year because Trent Williams is amazing. He's already a 94 overall, and I'd be locking in an awesome player on my offensive line. So at, at this point, it has changed. It's either Trent Williams or it's Jalen Carter. Gentlemen, everything we've done this season leads to this exact moment where I stare at the greatest Wheel of Mutt team I have ever assembled. I will stand on that too. I will put this Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl team up against any Super Bowl team we've ever made. And all of it is for nothing if we can't secure a Super Bowl ring here. Now, People ask me, MMG, if you get the prestige player when you make the Super Bowl, why does it matter if you win? Well, two things. It's the Super Bowl. But more importantly is the trophy packs you get from winning the Super Bowl. When I restart, my team's going to be a 72 overall. But if you win the Super Bowl, you get trophy packs, which give you really good players. We can use those to kickstart our lineup. So winning the Super Bowl makes the next season significantly easier. And with all that said, the only thing left is the challenge wheel. Completing this challenge will give me one pack at the start of next season. Our challenge wheel for the Super Bowl is to have the game's leading receivers. Now, this means that the first and second most receiving yards in the game must both be on my team. This is honestly a bummer challenge because my team is built for the run. That Derrick Henry, that Lamar, that new offensive line, I'm not sure I want to go air raid, but we got some monster receivers if we want to do it too. I didn't come this far just to come this far. Kim Kardashian. That timer is going suspiciously long. I do not like that. Thank God we got a game. I knew it. You're seeing a top three. He's got William Perry. He's got William Perry. No Super Bowl animations. To grind all the way to the Super Bowl, to not play it, is so annoying. It's a night game and it's five minute quarters, so we're definitely in the playoffs. It just didn't give me the Super Bowl animation. He's got limited Eckler at halfback. He's got zero chill William Perry, zero chill Shannon Sharp. Ooh, he's got the limited George Pickens. I like his team. It's off meta, but I like it. Although William Perry is actually an insanely good quarterback. It's now or never. Oh my God, the crack toss. This guy's a, a legend. Dude, he's actually like, ooh, that was close to an avalanche. There's a toss. We're all over this one. Avalanche! Avalanche! Let's go! Good news is we got the ball. Bad news, I'm not going to have much more Ray Lewis avalanche plays. First and 10. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Okay, easy one. Derrick Henry. He's going to break the first tackle. Giving a post to Gronk. Can I step up in this pocket and make a crazy play? Oh, my God. I'm going to Gronk. That's kind of covered, but Gronk's too good. I think I might need Gronk to get the yards for my wide receiver. Or for my uh, I need the top two receiving players in the game. Right now, Gronk's got a lot of it. I don't know who the other player is going to be, though. I guess it could be Derrick Henry. I can take this, though. Oh, you'll break that, right? Let's go, Derrick Henry! 
decision spin? I did not. Knocking on the door. Turnover already in the Super Bowl. We got to punch this in. Step up. Tut. Tut. Dude, I'm sick of all Madden PATs. They're impossible. I'm going for two here. Good. Puka, good. Dude, ah. Will Anderson just manhandled that play. Another run play potentially? Oh, shit. I'm not ready for this. Okay, third and 12. My responsibility is Eckler, and that's a slip screen. Don't throw it, buddy. <gasps> no! Dude, like, if you hold Y too early, you jump like a fucking moron. What a stupid design flaw. Why would I ever want to do that thing? I'm just getting ready to lurk it. Fourth and oh, it's fourth down, though. It's fourth down. No! Okay, he ran stretch out of this last time. Let's just get ready with Hamilton and go fly to it. Oh, it's a counter. It's a counter. It's a counter. Look at that D-line. That D-line is monstrous. All right, let's blitz Micah. We're blitzing Micah with Bosa. Oh, no, 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 no. Good hit, Derwin. He brought out the stretch alert bump. Dude, RPOs are so deadly. Oh, if he starts hitting me with RPOs, this is going to get spooky. Dude, he hasn't utilized his wide receiver, so he loves Austin Eckler. And there he goes. There he goes utilizing those wide receivers. Dude, we are lighting him up. It might be a two-fumble day. We got to stay in it, boys. Oh, it's a, it's a toss to the right. No? Play action. Go Ray. Go Ray. Go Ray. Damn it. Stay up. Stay up. Yeah, now that he's throwing the ball, this is getting a little scarier. I liked it better when he was running crack toss with Austin Eckler. This is where I made a living this season. I made a living this season on red zone defense. I don't have Avalanche anymore. Oh, he's running this ball. This is a, this is a pistol gut run. Who's number six? Oh, it's a fullback dive. Oh my God, he's tush pushing again. I'm going to stop you this time. Damn it. I'm blitzing Micah, but it might leave the left side open. We just got to look at it. Oh my god, what a find. 5 for 5, 65. That was in triple coverage. Uh, I feel like this is an RPO, no? I'm going on Derwin to blow up the run. Oh, there it is. That's oh, fucking RPO. Oh, they're so good. Okay, okay, okay. He got the touchdown. Nice touchdown. Can we stop the two-point conversion? That's what's big here. Here's his two-point play. Shit. Oh, it's a slip screen. Let's go! Dude, he's 6 for 6, 67 yards and a touchdown. And he throws halfback slip screen for two. All right, that's actually massive to have a two-point lead here. So Gronk has amazing yards right now. I'm going to run this play action. I'm looking for Ridley. I have... Oh, look at fucking Ridley. Get across! Let's go, Ridley! In front of Pat Tillman. That was risky. Five for five, 84. Now we give Gronk the corner and we block Henry. We just sit in this pocket. Gronk, Gronk, torched his man. How much more you got, Gronk? Lamar is throwing a perfect game. William Perry is throwing a perfect game. But I have a two-point lead. A touchdown and a PAT here gives me a two-possession lead. He's in man coverage. We give Gronk this whip route. Oh no, he's on Tillman. He sees it. Dashing dead eye! Dashing dead eye! Let's go! Gronk is having a career day. This is why we put Gronk tight end back in instead of Gronk middle linebacker. Come out and field goal block. Oh my god, it's gonna work. It's the fake. It's gonna work. It's the fake. It's gonna work. He does see it. I gotta make a move. Shit. Oh, play action. Fuck. Dude, he is lasering me. No way. There's a minute 40. I still have three timeouts. I still have three timeouts. He's going to try and chew clock here. But I I don't... He's... Uh, I'm sacking him here. I'm sacking him here. We got to hold him to three. Play action. Play action. Let's go. Carmichael! Second and 20. Exactly what we needed. My responsibility is... Okay, I've got middle of the field. Oh, what a play. A handoff? You're lying. Take a better angle. Hey, hey, that's why we saved our timeouts. First and 10, he's out of bounds. And I can still stop the clock if he's going to try and just chew this. Damn, Eckler is so much faster than I expected. Oh, triple option, you fucking dog. He fumbled! Oh my god, he got on it. Timeout one. This guy in the Super Bowl just ran speed option. And he calls his own timeout. Play action. I can't let him hit that again. No shot. I have no idea how that was out of bounds. Bailout season, bailout season, bailout season! All right, Carmichael, we got to go sit on that. I can't let him do that again. Oh my God, he did not just throw that again. I feel like that was pass interference. Hey, great defense, boys. We got a little lucky there. This will make the game 14 to nine. I'll have two to... Uh, I don't think I managed the clock well enough there. I should have used those timeouts earlier. Okay, go down early. Go down early. Ooh, that was stupid. Shit. Oh, he's stuck on a D lineman. He's stuck on a D lineman. Go, Ridley. Can you get out of bounds? One second. Nine for nine. One sixty to touchdown. Let's go even more nuclear. All right, I'm blocking Henry. We got Ridley on this deep crosser and Gronk on the slant. Go Ridley. Go Ridley. Go Ridley right there. Aggro. Oh. Let's go. Singletary. 
Let's go, Singletary! 10 for 11, 174 and a touchdown. Nice stuff. And there's Ridley dashing Deadeye. Perfect ball every time. Oh, that's man coverage. Oh, Nakua! Shit! Third and 13, boys. Believe. Believe, believe, believe. Ridley. Pocket. No! Fourth and 20. What do we do here? Yeah, I think he might have used her to D-lineman there and it actually worked. No way he just dominated Trent Williams like that. Fourth and 20. Calvin Ridley, I believe. I believe. I believe. Oh my god, he's gonna be there. Ridley! Aggro! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Is that there? I don't know. That's risky. That's risky. Ridley! 15 for 16! 250 and a tutty! Let's go, Lamar. Lamar is fucking carrying Step up. Oh, step up in the pocket, Lamar. Come here. Good juke! Down to the two! Come on! Let's put this game away. Who's there? Step up, Lamar. Scramble, Lamar. Go. Go. Good. Good. Good! Lamar! 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 There's no way! 11-point lead. Oh my god, Lamar! Lamar traversed the entire field to go two yards. But it was a crucial two yards. Oh my god. Great option to Lamar here. Oh, right up the middle, Lamar. Right up the middle. No! I had just dove. I had just dove to go forward. I really like where we are. We just gotta keep playing smart. Dude, he's killing me with this. I need to just go sit over here. I'm literally about to just take Carmichael and just squat down in that area. Are we coming hot enough that we can't do that anymore? Ray, right through the middle. Mosa! Ray hits Perry, Mosa picks it off! A Nick Bosa interception. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, I'm not gonna lie, that might be the cheesiest Super Bowl victory ever. And it wasn't intentional. The Ray Lewis Avalanche hit stick. The bobbled throw intercepted by limited Nick Bosa. The 80 yard, two yards gain scramble by Lamar. I mean, I don't really know if I had the game's two leading receivers. It's hard to say. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Lamar, Gronk, Ridley, Ray Lewis, Nick Bosa. We're all absolutely dominant contributors in today's Wheel of Mud. We've got some decisions to make. Number one, we got the win. So next episode will be a fully reset lineup other than our prestige players. We must choose our new prestige player. I'm definitely leaning towards Jalen Carter. I'd like to have a beefy D line to start out. I think that'd be very helpful. We'll still have Ray Lewis. We'll still have Derwin James. We'll still have Jamar Chase. We'll still have Gronkowski. They'll have Harrison Bucker. Wow, that was nuts. All right, boys. Hell of an episode, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was an absolute blast. I can definitely tell you that. That was one of the best passing games I've ever had. 250, a touchdown. Was that 15 for 16 or something? Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in a brand new season of Wheel of Mutt. Peace.